What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bible Brethren. I'm Troy. And I'm Colson. And here, we the Brethren review everything Bibles. So today we're coming at you with another review. Today we have a Schuyler Bible from EvangelicalBible.com. This is the Schuyler Personal Size Quintel. Um, it is a New American Standard Bible in NASB, and it is in the marbled mahogany calfskin. Mm -hmm. So Colson, uh, where does this fall in our categories of prices? Yeah, so this is this is in the splurge category. This this Bible is over one hundred and fifty dollars, uh, quite a bit over one hundred and fifty dollars. Actually, one ninety five. <laughs> yes, sir, one hundred and ninety five dollars. Oh, another one of them. This this another pocket <laughs> herder, but but I promise the quality is worth it. It is it is great. It is. But yeah, as I said, you can find this Bible at evangelicalbible dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, Colson, why don't you go ahead and uh, get us started uh, looking at the outside of the Bible? Yeah, so talking about the outside of this Bible, it, it, it's a wonderful Bible on the outside. What kind of leather we got going on? So this is calfskin, uh, calfskin leather, which is different than goatskin. It's a lot smoother to the touch, um, a lot softer. It, it, it kind of feels like a pillow, quite honestly. Yeah, goatskin has a grain to it. It's a lot rougher. Of course, extremely soft. But there's there's a smoothness about calfskin that's a lot different for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a, a wonderful piece of leather. It's 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 sturdy, strong, gonna gonna hold uh hold this Bible up well. Um, the yap length on this Bible, this is a small small yap. This is an itty bitty yap. Itty bitty little nine, little tiny baby yap. Nine for sure. millimeters. Um, you're not getting much page protection here. I mean, over the corners, yeah, but through these big sections, these pages are wide open. No yap to help protect that. Hey, hide your pages, bro. They <laughs> they open for damage, bro. They could take some serious damage, but it has character. It does. It does, quite honestly. Um, and then we move to the stamping, and we have the famous Jerusalem cross that comes with these Schuyler Bibles. Straight trademark, bro. This this is, it, it just makes these Bibles. It makes a Schuyler a Schuyler. It does. Absolutely. Sets it apart for sure. And uh, then we move to the spine. We've got five raised spine hubs, and I love these on this Bible. They, uh, they just look so nice. Super symmetrical, spaced out nice, very strong, holding the binding for sure. They're nice. For Absolutely. Sure. And the stamping on the on the spine here, it's all gold imprinting. Holy Bible at the top with, with a great font. The New American Standard. And then another Jerusalem cross, gold imprinting with a Schuyler on the bottom. And that's that's about it for the, the spine and the cover. And we got perimeter stitching. Uh, single line perimeter s stitching on the outside. Uh, which is it, it's it's great it, it holds this piece of leather together real nice so as for the corners on the inside here it's uh, single line uh, perimeter stitching just like the outside uh, and wonderful corner work here uh, just great the way this is this is folded in here um, works out uh, perfect to, to give us this rounded corner it's 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 great work incredible looking at this liner man uh, calfskin liner it makes this piece of leather real floppy oh yeah real floppy especially for the size of it too as for the binding, edge lined um, and edge lined Bibles, these things are not going anywhere. Uh, I mean, this this thing, I mean, this this these pages are locked in here. This thing can fly, quite some, honestly. Some bird action, you know. <laughs> it's like a majestic little bird, uh, but it, but it's uh, calfskin, so this is not a bird at all. Calf bird. <laughs> <laughs> As for uh, the the art gilding, uh, red under gold, and dude, the way that this red under gold looks with this this calfskin, this brown calfskin. I think is absolutely beautiful. It, it comes off as a rose gold because it's that red under gold, and along with this brown calfskin, it's it's just a great colorway. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a sucker for this colorway. It's sure. it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And sure. then as for the ribbons, uh, double sided satin ribbons, these things are are wonderful. Um, a nice gold you go along with this gold art gilding, and it just flows. It it all flows and it looks really nice together aesthetically on the outside. This is, this is a beautiful Bible. Yeah, it's an incredible Bible. This is a, a place that it obviously exceeds for the price point. You're getting the quality you pay for, no doubt. So uh, now that we've talked about the outside of the Bible, um, why don't we go ahead and uh, get it out in front of us, open it up, and see what's on going on inside. Yes, sir. All right, so now we got the Bible out in front of us, uh, the beautiful Jerusalem cross right here. Let's uh, open up to the most important, important part of the Bible, which is obviously the uh, inside. So you open it up, see the, the calfskin liner inside. Then we have a presentation page, marriages page, um, which is a nice little feature. Holy Bible, New, Command, New American Standard Bible, Schuyler Bibles. This is a personal size Quinto. 
And here we got the publisher's preface right here. We have a New American Standard Bible, the Lockman Foundation. Um, the design and typesetting was done by 2K Denmark, um, just like the last Bible was. Mm -hmm. um, it was printed by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands, um, and the paper is actually from France. Um, so we have another high-quality Bible here that is unique, um, various different countries, uh, various different resources. Um, and it's really dynamic. It's, it's, uh, it's awesome to see. So as we see... Uh, we open it up, you notice that this is uh, actually paragraph format. Um, if we open up and go to a psalm real quick, we're in Psalm 92, beautiful ribbon out the way real quick. Look at Psalm 92, 93. Um, it's actually verse by verse. So mm -hmm. the typesetting standard for the Bible is uh, paragraph, as you can see. Um, but for poetry, um, it is verse by verse, which is a nice little change up. Um, if you notice, uh, very obviously, they have red accents for the chapter numbers, um, no mm -hmm. matter where you are. Um, also in the top corner as well, and the page numbers. Um, so the red gives a very nice pop. And then, as you notice at the bottom of every single page, no matter where we turn, you see the cross-references. This is a cross-reference Bible, um, which makes it very useful for study. Um, and w one thing I really love about these cross-references um, is they're easy to pick out um, and see where you're at because they're highlighted in red. Um, so it makes it really quick to bounce up and down um, where you want to go. So, for example, uh, chapter 13 of Isaiah, you want to look at the cross-references for verse 2, and boom, 13-2 right there. Um, the red pops out, makes it really easy to study. Mm -hmm. um, if you notice, uh, this is high-quality paper. It is 28 GSM, and... Uh, I'm not sure how it comes out on the camera, but to the eye, the bleed through um, is very, very, very minimal. Um, so if you do underline in this Bible, uh, the odds of you seeing um, your, your highlighting, underlining, your note taking um, is, is pretty low. It's, it's a high quality paper, um, very thin, very soft, very smooth. Um, and then if you uh, go ahead and take a look at... Uh, let me flip over to Matthew. You will notice um, this is the Sermon on the Mount that it is in black letters. This is not a red letter Bible, um, which I personally like black letter Bibles. Um, if you read your Bible, you should definitely know the words of Jesus anyway. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So uh, I do love the black letter. It looks super nice. Um, as far as other features when, when you're inside, you notice that there's not a very large margin, um, so note taking mm -hmm. is very sparse. And in the gutter, it's going to be pretty much impossible unless you're really trying to break your Bible. But uh, I, I think there's enough room to add very small notes that are necessary. But this is by no means um, a a Bible that you rigorously study in and write extensive notes or outlines or anything like that. Right. Um, but if we go to the back of the Bible, we will get the other features if i flip back real quick we see there's bible maps which oh, these yeah. are these are very helpful i love reading through any part of the bible and being able to flip back and see uh the maps uh super helpful and th these are good coloring they're, they're a different type of paper they're not the regular um french 28 gsm paper back here they're they're thicker mm -hmm. um, but they're very nice quality the maps are a great color um, these are these are very helpful resources um, for, especially us over here in America that don't don't really pay attention to the geography. Um, there's also a notes page back here, um, which is also super helpful. Um, so again, you have the freedom um, to write whatever you want in the back of the Bible, which is something that I always appreciate. Um, but one one thing that sticks out about this Bible is is the features, right? For how small it is, the fact that you're getting thousands of cross references. I actually think. Um, there's 95,000 of them, yeah. um, which is an incredible number for how small this Bible is. And then also the resources in the back with the Bible of Maps and then um, the note taking pages uh, kind of gives you the freedom to do whatever you want with this with this daily driver right here. This thing is very small, if you can see in the size comparison in my hands. Um, but the font is an 8.5 size font, which is pretty big for how small this Bible is. Uh, it's very, and very it's easy really, to read. Really readable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was actually surprised by it when Colson got this because this is his personal Bible. I mean, I was blown away at how easy it was to read this font. Um, I was looking at pictures online. I was like, yeah, bro, have fun squinting reading your Bible every day. <laughs> but uh, oh, it's very beautiful. Um, I'd say this is about it for the inside. It's a 
It's incredible done Bible, and uh, I'd, I'd recommend it to anyone. See my boys highlighting right here. Hold on, we gotta gotta mind our business real quick. Um, <laughs> but but let's go ahead and finish up the review. All right, Troy. So we we looked at this P- PSQ inside and out. What what are our final thoughts here? As far as pros go, I'd say that obviously you're getting a very high quality Bible. You can't argue with that. Um, and one thing I actually do like about the cross references inside is the color coordinating that goes on um, with the red that makes it stand out, pop out, really easy to bounce up and down, back and forth um, during your study. It's a great thing. And then actually the text size for the size of the Bible, uh, it's an 8.5. I um, mean, it's super easy to read. I was actually quite surprised when opening up his Bible for the first time. Um, it's, it's, it's quite a thing of beauty they got going on here with the PSQ. Yeah, absolutely. The, the only things I would add are the maps. 16 maps in the back of this in this uh, this small bible and that's that's huge actually that's huge 16 maps and then my other pro is is the size of this bible uh when i got it it i was nervous that it was going to be a bit too small but uh with carrying it with me every day i've actually come to love the size of this bible so well uh i hate to break it to you but that's my calm bro (laughs) this bible is very small and and i can see the pros that that he talks about i'll I'll give that to you you yeah yeah um, but as for me, you know, I'm six, five. So, so public service announcement, if you're six, five and up, bro, you can't buy this Bible. I mean, th- this is a little baby Bible. It's like a pocket Bible. Like this is what, like, I'm gonna get my first son. You yeah, know what I mean? So that dang. This, it's a little boy Bible for real, but no, so, for, for an average size guy, you know what I mean? For a little bro right here. He, uh, if you're, if you're a giant, if you're like seven, yeah. one, then don't buy the Bible. Right, okay? right, right. <laughs> But no, I for its purpose, it's good. I, I specifically, for my preference and liking, I like a little bit of a bigger Bible, um, even for a daily carry. Um, but nevertheless, this is an incredible product that uh, that Skyler has got here, for sure. Absolutely. So as far as for my out of 10 rating, I would give this an 8.8 out of 10. Um, I like what it offers, but the size is just a big knock for me. Um, I, I personally can't give it higher than an 8.8. Yeah, mine's not much higher. I'll, I'll give it a nine, a nine flat. Um, I love Solid. the size. I love the cross references. This is this is a daily carry for me, and I appreciate that. Yeah, well, we appreciate you guys joining us today um, and hanging out with us and, and looking at this by with us. Um, we hope to see you guys next time. Grace and peace. Do you just want to do that last part real quick? All right. That was beautiful. Oh, it straight up worked. I tried to do that for the last one, but it didn't.